In this video, we are going to talk about the report number 4. In the previous set of videos, we have done the first 3 sections or 4 sections of this report. Now we are going to talk about the drill through for the list. So in this, we want to create a drill through from the list which is here to from country column to a child report. Now child report country heads 4. The report name would be child reports country heads 4. Create a prompt on country in the child report to create drill through. Alright, so we're going to go in here and save the country heads report. Now create a new report. Select an existing, sorry, select an existing template and again the same problems. We do not know the requirements and as discussed in the last set of videos, we are going to go back to the business, understand the requirements. So assuming the requirements are country, city, product type, product category, sales amount and sales quantity. So I repeat, country, city, product type, product category, sales amount and sales quantity. So just do it. So product type, product category, let's not bring in city, just bring in country and unit price and quantity. I'm going to do the formatting again for this report. So I'm going to say style, apply table style, modern, and then I'm going to create a prompt page using the build prompt page method. There you go. And save this report as child report country 4. Next, I'm going to open the parent report, which is the country head 4, so that I can create drill through. So, on the country, I'm going to create a drill through. So, right click and click on drill through definition. This is the same method as we have done, except for one place. I'm going to show it to you. Select the report keep it default, click on open new window and say edit. So country which is the prompt. In the method we have been using date item value. We are not going to use that. We are going to use parameter value. So whatever the parameters in the parent report, those parameters are going to pass to the child report. So here the parameter is p underscore country. See if you select the data item value, you're going to see the columns in the child report, sorry, the parent report. But here if you select the parameter value, you're going to select the parameters in the parent report. So I'm going to pass the value of the parameter country as a column or a value to the country prompt in the child report. Click on OK. OK again. Now let's run this report and see how the parameters are passed. So I'm going to run this report and assuming that I'm selecting two values. So I'm going to select UK and US, refresh and I'm going to select all the cities and I'm going to select all the years and say finish. So you can see the link here in UK and US. Remember I am passing the parameter. The parameter or the prompt value what we have selected is UK and US. 
So even if I click UK, the child report is going to show me, remember I clicked UK here, it's going to show me both UK and US. The reason is I am passing the parameter and not the data item value. So if I click on US here, it's going to show me again both the values, the parameter which I've passed. Let me do a quick demo again by selecting a third country, which is India. Assuming I select India and US, refresh, select all the cities and select all the years. So even if I click on India or US, it's going to show me both the countries again because I'm passing the parameters India and US. I hope this helps for multiple values cascading prompts and thank you for watching. Uh, we are going to work on report number five in our next video which is for supervisors and it's going to provide us different set of challenges. Thank you for watching.